Hey, welcome to Craters in Erosion. This video should be pretty short. Uh, for one, I've mentioned um, the aging process using craters uh, that I'm going to talk about last. I've mentioned this a couple times already, and so um, you know I think I'm not going to go into too much more detail about that. But uh, yeah, this is just in general, just kind of a short topic. So. Um, Mars has a lack of small impact craters, and uh, the major ones that you see here are all pretty much larger than uh, five kilometers, unless they're they're pretty recent. And the reason why is because dust storms are able to move the dust around on the planet at a fast enough rate to make the smaller craters disappear. Um, in this picture, you can see craters that look very eroded. Um, some of them are almost on the verge of disappearing. Maybe that one is close to disappearing. This one looks really close. So again, the bigger they are, the longer it would take to make disappear. And so um, this is starting to look like a hill kind of, uh, but you can see how round it is there. That was most likely a crater at one point. Maybe this was even a crater at one point that's really just, just about gone. So uh, the dust moving around on the planet is the the major reason why these these craters get eroded and disappear. I showed you this picture before in a previous video, and uh, another another reason why craters will disappear is because of lava flows in the past. And you can see that this crater has definitely filled in with lava. It's of comparable size to this crater, but for some reason, this crater was able to evade the flow of lava and remain relatively intact. <coughs> and in this this picture here, you can see dunes, sand dunes, in the bottom of the crater, and the edges look um, eroded away because maybe water was flowing in or some something, um, but it would have lost its typical round shape that you see in, in most craters. So you can see uh, some erosion process, processes happening here, and it's even surrounded by smaller little craters too. Um, erosion on Mars is 100 times slower than erosion on Earth. And of course, we have a lot of a, a lot more powerful weather patterns on Earth. In addition to water um, on the surface, that would, you know, very easily erode erode craters. Um, taking a look on Earth, can you find the fifth largest crater that is that um, that is still around? Barely, but it's well, not barely, it's still pretty visible. I'll give you a hint it's in Canada, and I'll give you another hint it's in Quebec. Maybe we'll zoom in a little closer to Quebec. Can you see it? But you can see it now, right in the center there. Look at that huge. This is 70, 70 kilometers about 40 or so miles across, a huge crater. It would have happened quite a long time ago. And you can see water is one uh, reason why it's being eroded. It, in fact, it's now considered a lake, uh, although it's a strange lake with all the, all the land in the middle. But um, you can see all the water erosion happening on the sides here. Similar, uh, these features are similar to these features, right? And so possibly uh, the same, they were caused by the same ero water erosion factors. So that's that's pretty neat. But this happens much more quickly on, on Earth. Earth. Um, a crater like this size on Mars would still be uh, pretty un undamaged, even if it's uh, billions of years old. So. Uh, a small crater, meaning like one less than five kilometers, would take roughly, on average, maybe a hundred or so million years to completely erode. Be much quicker on Earth. And as I've said before, uh, large impact craters can be used to determine the relative ages of the various regions on the surface. And at this point, you should be able to very accurately judge which picture shows older terrain and which picture shows younger terrain. This one definitely shows older terrain, and this one younger. 
they're roughly to the same zoom scale in Google Ma Google Ma Mars. Yeah, Google Mars. Um, and you can see very few craters, and they're small too. And here, you see lots of craters, but also craters within craters. And you can tell which ones were earlier too. This big one was, would have been earlier. And then later this one came and erased the edge of the, the earlier one. Same here. This bigger one would have been earlier, and then these ones came later. Well, it's hard to tell which one was first, this one or this one. So you can tell which one was first here, this one, <coughs> and this one came by later. So this is definitely a much older surface. And some of these big craters, like I said before, can be billions of years old. Uh, I have this video here. It's the Global Mars Crater Database. And every red dot you see is a single crater. Uh, I believe it's not shown in terms of the size of the crater, it's just the location so that you can see the number of craters. So let me, uh, I don't know if that's going to screw up the video, we'll see. And let's play this. Notice um, in the highlands, <coughs> there's a lot more craters. Let me pause here. This is This is considered the youngest um, surface on Mars, and because that's because of the the lava flows that would have um, covered up older craters, and generally the highlands over here, um, sorry, the lowlands of the north up over here are considered much newer, and so they have uh, fewer craters down here in the southern highlands, a lot more craters, and so it's much denser red red here. Old terrain. This red, 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 red area is older, older. Look, it's much older here. Newer, newer, newer. Really new. Really new, new volcanic activity here. Older volcanoes here. So, and that's it for this video. Not too bad. Oh, seven minutes. All right. Uh, until next time. See you later.